All right, so we just wanted to make this video to give you a very quick recap in a nutshell of IFT4, which was without a doubt massively successful Absolutely. and not only historic, we use that word a lot, but truly history was made today. So let's talk about the booster and the ship and why this was so successful. All right, well, SpaceX had some milestones they wanted to achieve. Booster, comeback, soft landing, nailed it. Ship, successfully go through the re-entry and do the flip and burn land, nailed it. And uh, we're gonna go out and see what the orbital launch site looks like. They need that to be going good as well, but. But talk it. about with the ship, we, I mean, still they were missing heat tiles yeah. and they were having an issue with the flap and they still succeeded, yes. kind of against all odds. We weren't yeah. sure. Well, I think that tells them a lot more about the ship than they knew before this. Obviously they got a lot of data, but I mean the integrity of the ship, the integrity of the design, and basically the punishment that it can go through and still be able to do the successful landing. And it was soft enough that we could actually see it tip over into the water and just come to a stop. So that is just amazing and it is just totally incredible. And no one, no one has ever done that before. Yeah, and so the feeling of elation is all over. And I want to just mm -hmm. emphasize, like you're saying, this hasn't been done before. This is yes. why it is such a big deal and why SpaceX is truly paving the path for our return to the moon and eventually going to Mars. And um, let's talk about two, you know, people who weren't able to make this flight. You might be able to see Flight 5 as soon as next month. In fact, in theory, it's already been approved. So let's explain yeah. why we think that. Okay, so the FAA made a determination that Flight 4 could continue because there was no public safety risk from Flight 3. And in that, it also gave some exclusions of if certain things happen, it wouldn't rise to that level of being a public safety issue. And this flight met every single one of those, one of those requirements. So effectively, because this is almost like a multi-license thing, the FAA is probably have very little to talk about, and I don't see why that would be any impediment to Flight 5. That's insane. Right, it and you know, the other thing that we have to see is see what date SpaceX gets for the data the booster did really, really well. Are they confident to try to do a catch in Flight 5? That is what Elon talked about in the all hands presentation. And so I guess we'll have to wait and see. Yeah. I think it still might be a little too soon. What do you, what do you use your intuition? I think right now they're going to go through the data. They're going to go through the footage. They're going to really scour that to find out, did it hit all of their own internal milestones, their profiles, everything, how confident they are. Uh, if, if the accuracy is really, really good and they're really confident in the data, it is SpaceX, I wouldn't doubt, I wouldn't put it past them that they say, let's go for it. But I also think that there needs to be a little bit of caution because it's risking stage zero, which right. right now is the only place they can launch from. And that's something that we will be going out to see how it looks. So I will be making a follow-up video, but I just wanted to get a really quick kind of recap of why this was so successful and the good news that we could see an even more quick turnaround time for the next launch. Anything else you want to say just about the success of the fourth flight? The fourth flight is an important yep. uh, date or, you know, flight for um, SpaceX because yep. we look at the journey of Falcon 1. They wanted to succeed on the third attempt. It didn't happen. And it was that fourth attempt that they survived and succeeded by a miracle. Yeah. So I'd say we kind of had the same thing today. Well, in a way, I mean, the fourth flight of Falcon 1 was bet the company kind of thing. The fourth flight of Starship has a lot to do with the Artemis program and the confidence that NASA has with SpaceX. So it is, it is hard to overstate how important this was. I just want to take a moment and thank each and every one of my subscribers here on Ellie in Space. Two years ago this month, I made the decision to leave TV news for good, ditch reporting on tragedies, and instead report on the mission and journey of SpaceX. In fact, Ellie in Space has almost 100,000 subscribers. We are so close to that plaque from YouTube. And with more people watching my channel and more exposure, more people are looking me up on the internet and trying to get personal information like my phone number, where I live, and more. But I won't mention some of the searches I've seen. That's why to protect myself, I've taken action and I've been able to scrub a lot of that information off the internet by using Delete Me. 
In fact, one time I Googled myself, this was maybe about two years ago, but one of my old apartment addresses was right there on the internet. I have no idea how it got there, but of course I did not want it up there, especially living alone at the time as a single young journalist. While I don't know how information like that gets out there, there's probably information that you don't want leaked on the internet as well. Just do a Google search on yourself, but don't worry, that's why we have Delete Me. I found out about Delete Me earlier this year and after signing up, they informed me that 61 data brokers had my personal info. Almost all of them had my name, age, address, including some past addresses. So here's how it works. Delete Me submitted the removals on the data brokers where they found my information. This privacy report shows each of the data brokers they've scanned, what they found, and what they're doing to remove my data. And Delete Me is diligent. After they've submitted each opt-out, the privacy advisors go back and check each source again to make sure my information has actually been removed. Although all of my listings on the removal list will disappear within a month, some will be gone more quickly than others. And remember, even after removals are complete, Google can take additional time to remove results from its search cache. Delete Me also does multiple reports throughout the year to make sure that no new sites have my information. And I also recommend a family plan membership since a lot of your relatives can also be linked to you. I trust Delete Me and feel more secure knowing that my personal information won't be subjected to threats of harassment, identity theft, even stalking. So get 20% off Delete Me US consumer plans when you go to joindeleteme.com com slash le20 and use promo code le20 at checkout that's join deleteme.com slash le20 code le20 and of course thank you for watching my channel let's get back into the video okay okay go 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 look, look, look. Look, ah! oh. all right okay. they have ignited the engines oh my gosh it's so hard to see okay well we it is in the air. It is uh, climbing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I think so. It is. Our... I can hear it. Definitely hear it. Where'd it go? It's uh, up into the clouds, unfortunately. Oh been a great day yes and I just want to say on behalf of LA thank you for having me on the channel and getting the opportunity to say congratulations to SpaceX the employees you get an amazing job you should be extremely proud I'm proud of you I, we are all proud of you and thank you so much for coming on my channel we had over 14,000 people across multiple platforms watching our live stream this morning and so your support for Ellie in space truly means so much so thank you for watching this video and we'll see you soon
Sorry, Ellie, I'm, uh, I'm not getting the clean shots you were hoping for. I'm filming for her. <laughs> oh, God, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's a lot of moving parts on the horses. Yes. <laughs> Can you face forward? Good baby. This is actually perfect. The sun is right behind the tip of the starship. Trying to get. Yeah. <laughs> you guys tell like you're selling horses. <laughs> oh, he's got some grass. You like that star base grass? It's good to see you again, Ellie. It's good to see you too. We all come back here. <laughs> yeah, we do. <laughs> all right. Sorry, guys. Oh, oh. Sorry. Okay, where are you guys heading? So I can get ahead of you. Okay. Well, I know, but I. Yeah, it's just hard to get a clean shot of you guys right now. You guys can slow down a little, like get up ahead of you. Well, why don't I turn and then I'll start towards you? Well, if, okay. I was just going to do like this. This is actually a great shot. I am videoing you the entire time. Okay.